if they apply it um, right along these three dimensions, technology, data and people. I think there's a lot to gain. I think that the insurance industry is still at the very beginning of using artificial intelligence. The use cases we have seen so far are typically smaller applications, but I do believe that there is um, quite some potential in artificial intelligence. Basically, pretty, let's say, uh, nicely, but a little bit obsolete in terms of the, uh, the services that uh, they are providing to, to customers. They haven't changed. So you see an opportunity that already exists just when you think about the data component. And then when you think about a lot of manual tasks that exist for a lot of uh, companies within the insurance space, then it, that really blends itself, those, those two things, to really have an idea of, of you know, how can we make an impact and how can we leverage AI to be able to create a better experience cut down on costs. Decision making, um, prediction, classification, all that into the business process. And that's where you know, the whole power then unfolds. So you're basically building the digital worker, your digital co-worker. Uh, on all different kind of uh, fronts, um, starting from process efficiency, uh, from cost reduction, um, up to, all the way up to revenue increase, uh, improved employment, if they apply it um, right along these three dimensions, technology, data and people, I think there's a lot to gain. One aspect will be to automate processes which uh, eat up a lot of resource today. So that will make the industry more cost efficient, will make products cheaper for customers and uh, will, will benefit people at the companies as well because they don't have to just perform stupid tasks with which machines can do uh, as well as, as people can. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a great thing when you can kind of bring those things together, the technology, the data, and how can you improve the overall experience for users and lower costs.